Hello guys, welcome back to Malamations. And today, this video is going to be about my Comic Con experience. And I would like to give you a fair warning. Um, tell I went to four Comic Cons and I realized with uh, the script, it was too long for like an 8 minute video, which I want these video, this video to be. So I'm going to split it into two. I'm going to tell you my first two ones and going to tell you my last two ones, which I'm just going to give you a hint. Um, one is uh, bigger than the other. So, yeah. So, Comic-Cons, what are they? Well, mainly it's just a big event for the group of people who come to it, kind of like a convention. Well, actually, it is a convention. Never mind. So, mainly... And what Comic Cons are is that you have people dress up as their favorite uh, fictional character from movies, games, books, or something out of pocket. Like make a different version of a character or something else. And also, other things about Comic Cons, there's also like booths too, where you can buy merch of like uh, old toys or, well, not toys, but Okay, yes, they're toys, never mind. And also some art from people, and so much more, so much more, like comic books and manga. So my first Comic Con was known as the Valley Comic Con. And this is how I am finding. Comic Cons is something I've always wanted to go and check out. And my mom found this Comic Con on Facebook. And granted, this Comic Con is small for like an average Comic Con or the mini to the big ones because mainly it was just two floors at a very fancy big restaurant that people can have weddings in so yeah but anyways our first comic con uh the people that came with me was of course my mom doing mothery things and she wants to come with us because she found it which i can't blame her and my little sister who's also a nerd like me and we also brought our friend which i will nickname her anna because she likes anime, and Anna sounds close to anime uh, to me. I, everyone else can complain on the comments if they want. But mainly, Anna is probably the true story in this in our first Comic Con of why it was so much fun. You see, when we went there, it was cool. Get to see a bunch of booze, seeing like cool things. And my souvenir for my first one is a Batman comic book. When Batman and Fortnite made comics. Which, yes, I have practically all of them. Well, except one. But I don't want that one because it just didn't look good to me. Or I just never bothered finding it. Anyways. Yes. But we didn't find a bunch of cool people. Like, we saw people dress up as Star Wars characters. And met someone. Well, not met someone, but found someone that has a real life looking Batman suit. That even has a voice changer inside his cheek. Where he sounds like, I got mine. And, just kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's, so it's, yeah, I can't speak. And also, some people, well not some, but a lot of people were dressing up as anime characters. Which, for one, me, my friend Anna, or our friend Anna, really happy. Like, literally, she was like... Listing or just say a name like that person dressed up as uh, that person, <laughs> that person dressed up as no, that person dressed up as Ivy Suga Mataria. <laughs> and there's this one person who dressed up as her like one or top of her anime characters uh, at the time, I'm not sure about now, is some character from Demon Slayer who has a boar head as a mask, which makes me question things of uh, the story when I hear about it. So I'm confused with this character. But when she saw all these people grouped together and saw that one, she got so happy that she fell onto her knees. Like, uh, like granted, people be like, uh, something's wrong with her. But no, it looks like she just won a lottery, but instead the lottery is a bunch of people dressing up of her favorite characters. Which... To be honest, that made the whole trip fun. I am just going to say that. It made it completely fun for us. 
and also for her. Also, we can learn a little bit more about anime. So now I'm well educated thanks to her knowledge. And now for round two. So this one is the same one as the one I went to called the Valley Comic Con, of course. I repeat the name again. But this time it's in a different date. Unlike one from previously, it was in July, which is summer. Excellent time for a bunch of people who got out from school, get to do summer. But in the second one, it's in October. And this one, in the word of date, is perfect for cosplayers. Which is where everyone's going off to buy Costco. Uh, wait, no, costumes. Not Costco, my bad. Um, for cosplaying for Halloween. Which, by the way, I was also making a costume for a costume party. And do you want to know who I dress up as? I dress up as Clark Kent. And I know what you're thinking. Why would I dress up as Clark Kent? Well, one, he's cool. I like Superman, and I had a suit at the time, so it made uh, making the costume easy. So I just need fake glasses and Superman shirt and yada yada. And gel my hair, even though I get the natural Superman curl, which is strange. I think I'm just a big fan of Superman that my hair is like, you know, why not? Here's Superman hair. Boom. So anyways, I dressed up as a cosplay, a uh, Clark Kent. With the white shirt, but I'm sure I'm about to show you the Superman logo. But, well, not but. And I invited my friends who also was interested in coming, which I do, these three are related. And I'll call my friend Vulpix and her younger sister, which who I'm also friends with, uh, who, because she likes Doctor Who. And their mom came as well, which is nice. And as we went to Comic Con, well, I went there first. Um, something funny happened with it uh, when they saw my costume. Is that they didn't recognize me? So uh, you know what that means of what would happen. So saying hi and just me like, who are you? Even though I was wearing glasses, and when I went up. Um, who ends up doing some martial arts, uh, explosion kicking, punching thing. Like, I didn't know her body can reflex like that. Like, she almost kicked my head. Or chopped my head off. Whatever. (laughs) Because she didn't recognize me because I was in costume wearing plastic glasses. And... Me realizing that Superman was definitely on to something of wearing glasses to hide his identity. Because if I didn't get recognized from these people, which I grew up with, that means I can find other ways to disappear from everyone else if I want to be alone. Just saying. But also I would point out my friend Volvix was also in cosplay too. Not as a DC character, but as a Pokemon trainer. And also, since I never go with Pokemon, which, yes, I know, hard to believe, but she did well educate me with some Pokemon stuff for me to understand some confusion. So, yeah. But anyways, we did explore the area, and we did got some souvenirs, which my younger sister also got souvenirs because I called her because they smelled something that she likes. Well, that we both like. But it was Transform- two Transformers posters that are 80s style with Soundwave and another one with Blaster. Which are two Transformers that Transformers do cassette tapes. Not cassette tapes. Um, cassette players, I meant. Or a boombox. Boombastic. Just kidding. And also, I found myself a puff here of concept art. Han Solo, which did not know this, that he was originally going to be a Jedi before episode 4 came out, which that kind of blew my mind. I mean, we thought this pop figure was cool. So, yeah. So, anyways, that was the end of the day. Even though I almost got chopped off, lost my head from who, who just decided to go martial arts with me because she didn't recognize me, and also 
who will have a fun time with everyone at these conventions. So, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you can subscribe to my channel and give me a like or a thumbs down if you like. And leave a comment because I like to hear your thoughts of how you enjoyed this video and also experience your Comic Con exper uh, experience as well. Well, make a comment of your Comic Con experience. Anyways, also follow my Instagram if you want to see some original art, like my OC arts and sketches and such, if you'd like to. And also probably get to see my face, which that is scary. And also be prepared for a part two for my other two Commandant experience. So, bye.